guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kira and today I want to continue the conversation from last week about faith. So last week, my YouTube title... <coughs> Excuse me. My YouTube video titled Crazy Faith was on what I'm believing that God has said and has in store for me this year, which is going to grad school in July. But I wanted to reflect on ways that I've seen him work in my life that are beyond what I could ever do or imagine in my wildest dreams. And I hope this can be a source of encouragement for you that um, faith is hoping and the expectation of something that you cannot see. And it means sometimes putting your trust in God when you cannot see it and expecting the outcome that he's told you. And so I just pray that this can be an encouragement to show you how God has been at work in my own life, and you can do that and much more in your own. And so hope this video encourages and strengthens you and encourages you to step out in faith and that there's so much more to this life that God's called us to, that God has come to give us life and life in abundance, John 10.10. 10. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So... I am currently a senior in college, but when I was a senior in high school, I was doing an internship at my church, and my youth pastor, who was my boss uh, at the time, told me to pick an overarching project for the year, and that would be uh, what I was to work on, plan towards that um, it could be anything he said. But one of the things for me that just like landed on my heart was doing a conference for girls. And the main message being that uh, you don't have to graduate high school, you don't have to graduate college, you don't have to be in your first job in order for God to use you, but he can use you right now where you're at. And that was something I was just super passionate about and just like laid heavy on my heart. And the only thing I can explain is God must have put it there. And so I started planning this girls conference for the end of the school year. And I started planning this in September, October time frame. And my youth pastor thought this was a great idea. And I am a very big dreamer, but the planning and the doing is very difficult for me. So by November, I was frustrated with how many people I'd gotten in contact with to try to rent facilities, book speakers. I was just overwhelmed and I was like, that's it, we're done. And my mentor at that point had said, Kira, what about what God's called you to? And I was just kind of like, oh, conviction. <laughs> but I was still like, oh, this is so difficult. And then a couple of my best friends were saying in passing like, hey, how's the playing of your conference going? And I was thinking, I was like, oh, it's not going. And so I talked with my youth pastor, and he said, we'll put together a committee to help you. And so my mentor and two of my best friends came on and started helping me plan this and divvying up the work. And my mentor is an incredible um, visionary and seeing where things are going. And so she was really essential in order to keeping the team on track and towards the goal of having this conference at the end of the year. And... I just want to give all the credit to God because I would have quit way back in November, but it kept going and we get to May time frame. So conferences are expensive and I had been reaching out to local businesses and writing um, all these sponsorship letters trying to get people to invest and I was down to the last bit of money and it just wasn't coming in. We had fundraised a lot of it and we had gotten a lot, but we just had some left. And it's a week before conference and I'm like, I need the money. It's gonna be due on Friday. It's Monday. <laughs> and I'm praying and I'm praying I'm like, God, like, come on, you're gonna have to pull through because I'm gonna have to hand out these checks on Friday. And um, it's Monday and I'm praying. I'm like, God, what are you saying? And he told me, he's like, Kira, the money's gonna come in on Wednesday and I want you to quit your job tomorrow. And at that point, I've been working, and in the back of my head, I was like, well, if God doesn't come through with the money, at least I'm working, and I have enough in savings that I could cover the cost myself, and then just keep working over the summer before going off to college. 
Well, when God told me I quit my job, I was like, so if God doesn't come through, all my savings are going to be gone and I won't have a job. So I won't have any money. And I was like, okay, God. And so I walked into work on Tuesday and told them I was giving them my two weeks notice and quitting. And that was quite the step of faith because... I was called to quit my job before I saw the funds for the conference. So I quit my job on Tuesday. Wednesday comes, I'm furiously checking my email, my mailbox. I go to church thinking maybe someone's going to give me something for the conference. I come back from church, it's 9 p.m. And I'm like, okay, so I check email again, double check the mailbox. I'm like, there's nothing. And... For me, I was just like, oh my gosh. And at this point, it's like 10 o'clock at night. And I'm like, the money's not here. I quit my job yesterday. And now I have so many bills to pay two days from now. And I just remember sitting down and just crying and being like, God, I thought this is what you told me. Where's the money? And as I'm sobbing, my dad is talking to me. And he's like, here, what's wrong? And I tell him, I was like, look, like, I followed what God told me to do. And uh, the money is just not here. And I don't know how I'm going to pay all my bills. And what have I done? And um, as I'm sitting there crying, my dad graciously says, Kira, how much money do you need? I'll give it to you. And in that moment, it was more powerful than if any sponsor had come through. Because... My dad loves me so much that he wanted to do that, that it was out of his love that he did that. And it made me learn so much about God. And so God came through as he promised. The money did come in, came through at like 1030 at night, but it came in and from a source I wasn't expecting. And God taught me that he can be trusted. And... That is a lesson I will never forget and I never want to because how God works is so different from our mindsets and throughout this entire planning of the conference. Like I wanted to quit long before. It was so hard to keep going and keep pressing on and working through all the minor details, but God was in the midst of it and he wasn't always talking to me, but there were so many times where people would come through with such timely encouragement where I'd be like, wow, like I feel that in my soul. And people would tell me the exact same thing two or three times in one day. And I was like, God, I think this is you speaking to me. And if I can say anything else, like he can be trusted and he can be kept to his word. And it might seem like he comes through at the last hour, but he'll come through and he is good on his word. Like he keeps his promises. He's a promise keeper. And I think we think so much within the limitations of our own mind that we're like, this is the way I'm going to get the money. And this is the time frame I'm going to get it. And God's like, no, I, I'm not confined to human terms. I'm God. I'm God of all of creation, of more than just the world, of the universe. Like I am God and we can trust him. And that's what I want to leave you with, to have faith that you can step out knowing that he's going to fulfill what he says. And sometimes that means quitting a job, hoping the mo like knowing that God's going to provide the money tomorrow when you quit your job today <laughs> or whatever your life circumstance. But that's the one that I've lived through and it's definitely grown me. And I just wanted to share it because that's my story and how God's worked in my life one way thus far, but I believe he's going to do immeasurably more than we can ever request or imagine in our wildest dreams. That's Ephesians 3.20 in the message version. So step out in what God's called you to, and honestly, it's the best life. I can't imagine anything else. Like, there's such a joy and such a delight in living that way. So I pray this is encouragement to you guys. If you have any questions, comments down below, you want to share your own faith stories, leave it down below and I'll talk about them. But yes, love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.